sexual function for women is very important. We were treating women for intercourse pain, dyspareunia, either at the introitus at the opening or deep within the vagina. Uh, feels like my partner is hitting something that say, and we were doing very well with those women. You can see the stats here, we'll put them up on the screen. Uh, and then something unusual happened. We were also treating infertility and um, when this woman calls us up and, and calls my wife and they said, Belinda, something unusual happened. And Belinda said, what is that? My wife, the chief physical therapist. Uh, and the woman said, well, it's, it's really kind of embarrassing. Well, well, well you're going to tell me or not? And, and the, the former patient said, uh, well, since you treated me and I came home, I'm having orgasms like I've never had in my life before. Uh, my wife being appropriately medical said, well, is that okay? Are you all right? And she said, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's fine, but it was, it was just so remarkable. I just had to call you and tell you. So um, she said, oh, okay, great, that's great. So um, we heard this from several women over the course of a year, year and a half, and we had quite a few of those. And, and Belinda asked me what, what we should do with that information, and I said, B, just, just don't even tell anybody. I mean, we're already the weird practice in town. We're opening black fallopian tubes. We're, we're just, I don't want to, let's just keep sex out of the thing. That's great that they're having that success. We were at dinner one night with the chief of staff of the hospital, this gynecologist surgeon, and, and, and we happened to tell him about this. He said, you're kidding. I said, no, no. He said, that's really important. Who said it is? He said, yeah. He said, there's nothing in medicine that we have that, that can improve sexual function um, or even decrease pain. He said, for pain, we'll generally give a, a numbing agent or we'll have a lubricant that a woman can use or, or you know, if, we, if neither of those work, we'll tell her to consult a psychiatrist or a psychologist because we figure maybe it's in their head. But there's certainly nothing, so, so we don't have anything for intercourse pain that's been really effective the way your treatment has been. But this thing about sexual function, he said, this, we need to study, that we need to do a study on this. I said, we do? He said, yeah, yeah, we do. So we, deter we found that there are six domains that are actually measurable of female sexual function, desire, arousal, lubrication, orgasm, satisfaction, and pain. So it, we had women take the test before we treated them, and then we gave them the same test six weeks to three months afterwards and compared the results. We scored very, very high in all six of those domains of sexual function. So um, as far as the orgasm, which I know a lot of people are interested in, most people are interested in the pain because you do not want to have pain at a time when you should be having pleasure. So if you have pain, that's awful. So we're, we're very, very successful with that. The, the women who have increased orgasms, it's not everybody. Clinically, as I look back, it seems like it's women between about 30 and 50 years of age that that happens with. Um, I don't have exact statistical data on that, but uh, we do have statistical data on all the improvements for improvements in sexual function, both with the normal population, and then here again is another chart shown with uh, endometriosis. I think this is published in the Journal of Endometriosis, if I'm not mistaken.